Hello and welcome to our series of videos on how to use the book scanner. This is the first of five videos. During this video we will walk you through the setup process. Attach the bungee cord to the bottom bolt, pull it around the pulley, and attach to the top bolt on the handle arm. Repeat this action for the other side. Set the book on the cradle, open to the first page or cover that you would like to scan. Check the USB connections, making sure that the camera cables are connected to the black USB cables located at the top right hand side of the book scanner. Turn on the power strip next to the book scanner. This will turn on the light and power the cameras. Turn on the camera trigger, located on the handle arm. Lift the black felt flaps on the side of the scanner to access the camera. Press the on-off button on the top of the camera to turn the camera on. Once the camera is on, hold the play button until you enter the review photo setting. Once there, press the play button once. Alt should appear on the bottom of the camera screen. Press the menu button to bring up the CHDK menu. Scroll down using the disk button until you highlight CHDK settings. Press the center funk set button to select. Scroll down to remote parameters and select. When the enable remote field is highlighted, make sure there is a dot within the brackets. If not, Press the select button to add the dot. This turns on remote triggering. Use the menu and play buttons to return the camera to photo mode. Repeat this process with the other camera. To operate the book scanner, gently pull down the handle until the book pages are touching the glass panel. Click the trigger. You should hear both cameras, either simultaneously or in succession, make a beep. Gently raise the handle, turn the book page, and repeat. To be able to pull pictures off the cameras for editing, you will first need to turn off the remote triggering option in the CHDK menu. Once the camera is on, hold the play button until you enter the review photo setting. Press the play button once. Alt should appear on the bottom of the camera screen. Press the menu button to bring up the CHDK menu. Scroll down using the disk button until you highlight CHDK settings. Press the center funk set button to select. Scroll down to remote parameters and select. When the enable remote field is highlighted, press the select button to remove the dot within the brackets on the right. This turns off remote triggering. Use the menu and play button to exit back to live play mode. The last step in this process is to unplug the two USB cables connected to the trigger on the front of the scanner and plug them into the USB hub connected to the computer on the back of the scanner, matching the red cables and red hub and yellow cables and yellow hub. This completes the first instructional book scanner video. Please see video number two to learn how to transfer your photos from the camera onto the computer.